What's up, Tech Radar? I'm Nick Pino, and today I'm checking out Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on the new 2016 Chevrolets. First off, it's worth noting that Apple CarPlay and Android Auto aren't going to replace the OnStar system found in most Chevys today. Instead, they'll work alongside the service. Maybe Android Auto or Apple CarPlay will one day be the complete solution. Until then, however, Chevy owners will be stuck with both. I started my demo with Apple CarPlay. The version here at the event isn't all that different than versions we've used in the past, but I appreciated how simple it was to get things going. Simply plug in your iPhone 5 or later with a lightning cable, and CarPlay will start automatically. From the main menu, you'll be able to select music, send a text message, access Apple Maps for navigation assistance, or use select third-party apps like Spotify or iHeartRadio. Overall, because the system depends so heavily on Siri, it's a little less user-friendly than I'd like, but it's still serviceable, and I could see myself actually enjoying poking around in it at a red light. Next up, Android Auto. You're looking at a new build of Android Auto that's set to debut at Google I.O., the company's big developer conference that kicks off May 28th. Like its Apple counterpart, Android Auto requires a wired connection to the system via micro USB cable and allows you to access your contacts, select music from a multitude of services, and use a far better Google Maps to get around. It's smarter and easier to use than ever, but there are definitely some kinks that need to be worked out before it rolls out to the general public. I'm Nick Pino. For more auto tech news, check out techradar.com.